today we're going to be talking about how I got a full exhaust system, headers on back for under $600. y'all welcome back to the channel for those of you that are familiar with the car you should already know what it is and for those of y'all that are new to the channel this is my 2014 mustang gt it is full bolt-on e85 i'm gonna try to keep this video nice and short for y'all because i gotta it's my birthday today and i gotta go kick it with the family so my full exhaust system is speedmaster headers uh or speed daddy headers whatever you want to call them 230 they were 230 shipped keep in mind 230 dollars shipped i have a custom uh, three inch x pipe made by rouse mufflers i'm not sure it really just depends on what uh exhaust shop you guys have in the area my shop calls cost me 220 uh for the custom three inch x pipe with it installed so i'm running Flowmaster outlaws at the moment in order for this to get under 600 bucks i'm pretty sure you're going to use the Flowmaster fx mufflers they are on american muscle summit racing anywhere just look up Flowmaster fx three inch inlet outlet mufflers they're 80 bucks for the pair and they sound amazing like a lot of people talk about they're quiet. They're not quiet. These are coyotes, bro. These cars are loud regardless because they're a little bit quieter than the Outlaws, but they are loud. Trust, they are loud. So 230 for the headers, which is, we're at $230. 220 for the three inch X pipe, which puts me at 450. And then we got 80 bucks for the mufflers, which throws me at, I don't know, I'm not good with math, like five, five, 60, 11, something like that. Either way, it's under $600. Now under $600, that's the price that, you, that's maybe half the price of some Cooks headers or some American racing headers. But a lot of people have a lot of issues with the Speedmaster headers. They don't have issues. They just assume. They assume they're shitty quality or they assume that they're a bad header just because they're cheap. When in reality, hey, what company uses special steel? There's only certain metals that you use for exhaust. That's cast iron, which is mainly going to be your stock shit. There's stainless steel. There's regular steel. And there's aluminized steel. As far as far as far as I'm concerned, it's all the same on the, on the atomic on the atomic table. <laughs> metal is metal, bro. Brand names are good for certain parts, but for exhaust, it's metal, man. As long as it flows freely, you're good. Now a lot of people are gonna have a problem and say, "Oh, the Speedmaster fitment is trash." Like the guy that put my headers on had no problem. He let me know he had no problem with the fitment. There is no problem with the flanges. All the welding, all the parts where it's welded are perfectly intact. There's no booger welds there's none of that there's no shitty welds it's all it's gravy it was easy money for them now of course before what i would recommend if you get speed daddy headers or speed master headers um your o2 flanges if you're gonna run 85 you know have them welded in a 45 degree angle that way you don't burn out your o2 sensors from the 85 you know the moisture builds up on around those two sensors pops them so just get the before you throw them on either oh I'll actually actually i would recommend that you heat wrap the headers and then get your uh, o2 bungs welded to a 45 degree angle I've had no leaks from my exhaust whatsoever. Um, I've had no cracked headers. My headers took some damage, man. Since my car is lowered, I hit speed bumps sometimes. Um, but it's it's they're great headers, y'all. I'm telling y'all. For what y'all are using them for, they are great headers. And if you have $230 Speedmaster headers, I promise you, you're gonna be running just the same amount of horsepower as to do with the Cooks headers. He's not gonna have a hundred horsepower difference in you or a 20 horsepower difference just because he has some Cooks headers. Like, I'm not bashing Cooks. Don't get me wrong. Cooks makes great products. American Racing makes great products. But when you're a budget building, you're building on a budget and you want to get a full bolt-on setup for as cheap as you can, as quick as you can, your best bet is going to be Speedmaster headers. I'm telling you. It is. A lot of people bash them. Stop bashing them. They're not that bad. They're great. I've had... I, bro, I'm telling you. If they were bad, they would be off the car already. Let me actually see if I can get some clips for y'all because I know y'all want to hear it. And that's what a $600 exhaust system sounds like. $230 on the headers, $220 on the mid pipe, and 
80 bucks on the map on Clone Masters. I still have the stock cat back, but it's the cat bag is like a two and three quarters. So a three inch cat bag just makes no sense. All I'm asking is just give the little guys a shot, man. They make great products. Speedmasters makes great products. I know a lot of people, and I'm, 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 I'm well aware that a lot of people use Speedmasters and eBay headers, but there's also a lot of people that bash them and say that they're, they make terrible products. In reality, they don't. But as always, guys, thanks for watching the video. Give me a thumbs up, give me the like. I'll see y'all next time.